Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the rumpled one, coming to you more. Oh, no, April the 2nd, the year 2019. Let's talk trading horizontal lines by zone. One thing about uh, horizontal lines is it's really simple, just like money and risk management. Really simple. Side how much you're willing to lose per trade and put your stop loss in the right place so you don't lose more than that. Make sure you don't trade a size that's too big so you don't lose more than what you're willing to lose per trade. It's so simple, but it's the one thing that trips up the majority of traders who are first starting out. Okay. Now, I want you to notice something. We have three pairs that haven't filled that weekly open gap. And yesterday, there was about half of them. So once again, if you haven't taken advantage, don't say I didn't tell you about it. The price of the Euro Yen right here, we're still in the upper wick zone from the previous week's candle. And that's almost a doji. But you can see here, it's, it's gonna probably pretty much be stuck in that wake zone unless it pops out the top or comes out the bottom. But since it's NFP this Friday, there's a good possibility that could happen. Now, we are talking buy zone. The pivot point was just below the short zone here. But we have this missed pivot, so we still have a short bias. And this time it paid off. Now, starting out here in the uh, New Zealand, Australian session here, you can see price came into the short zone triggered. Now, if you put your stop loss here, you would have been uh, knocked out of that trade. And you came here in the Tokyo session and you can see you had another chance. But you only have one close above the daily open. So it's just telling you take the shorts. So here, shorts, shorts. But you can see right here, it just wasn't giving much. So you're only talking a few pips. So finally, you take a short, and it comes down, tests the weekly open, closes below it, and you can see the rest is history. So this is the Tuesday open. This is the Monday open or weekly open right here. And you can see the price action around the opens. So first day of the week you play this as a buy zone then from Tuesday through Friday you play this as a weekly crossover you don't wait for it to get 10 pips away you can just go ahead and take the crossover trade the reason we have the buy zone and short zone here on a daily open is because once again we know price has the range it has to range from open to high, and it has to range pretty much from open to low. And sometimes the open and low or open and high are the same numbers because price just moves one direction and keeps going. And But those don't happen that often. But as you can see here, I mean, from the high so far, the daily high right here, 0.58 the open was 0.55 so you only had a three pip open the high never triggered the buy zone that is why we have the buy zone eight to ten pips away because we want to know that there's a good chance it's going to go up there and if you look here and you can see why here so high minus open so what we're doing is with the buy zone, 
we're pretty much eliminating getting triggered here. Okay, so we want to get triggered in this area. So let's take a look at this. So out of the last 100 trades, this would throw out 12 days. So that would mean you would not have taken the buy zone. Now, in this case, 10 to 19, you would have been triggered. And maybe let's just call these a loss. So 16 days of loss. I'll just give it the benefit of the doubt for the naysayers who say it doesn't work. So right here, so 16 out of 100, you would be losing 12. You wouldn't be entering at all. So you add those two up, that's 28. So that means 72% of the time, or seven out of 10 times, you're gonna win. So why wouldn't you take this trade? And then let's look if we go the other way, open the low. Last 100 days, you throw out 23 trades. You got 12 losers, so that's what? 35%? Mm, so 65%. Basically, two out of three times you're going to win. Who wouldn't take those? Who wouldn't take that? So based on statistics, you see you got a 7 out of 10 or 2 out of 3. I mean... But somebody go, well, you know, once again, 100 trades isn't enough. So let's take a look at what happens when you crank it up to 1,000. So. Thousand. Once again, see the buy zones based off of statistics and based off of math and physics and just basic logical deduction. So, do the numbers change much? We're looking at a thousand bars. Okay. So, here we throw away eight of the trades. Here we're looking at 13% uh, losses, so that's 21. So once again, seven out of 10 winners. Here, we're looking at 16 throwaways. 12% of the time you're gonna lose, so that's 28. So that's what, 72? So once again, about a 70% chance of winning the buy zone. Now, of course, your results may <laughs> prove to be different, you know, that old disclaimer. But I think you can see statistics are on your side. And all you have to do is just take those trades. Now, let's go back here. So once again, looking at the buy zone. So you see here, today was a throwaway on the long side. We had some nice short triggers here. And so sometimes, like if you if you were to take this trade, you know price has to range. And you're only in the first hour. So you see price comes up here. Well, you didn't, your first initial stop should be probably just right here at the open plus 10. So you would basically have a 20 pip stop loss. So maybe if your normal stop loss is 10, you would trade half the size so you could take that risk and not get blown out. So you'd only lose what you're willing to risk. So basically, if you put the trade on here, you just have to wait. See, is it going to range? Is it going to range? You know it's going to range 30, right, or more. So. You could even put a one-third size on and put your pip, your stop loss 30 pips away the other direction because price hasn't moved that way. So you say, okay, let's see. And if you do something like that, looking at it logically, you can then see, no, that first initial trade, if price hasn't ranged over 20, we've got to let it range. And see which way it goes. And in this case, you would have won. Because you could also say, well, I know price.
pretty much is going to range. So let's let it do its thing and see if I can make a profit somehow. That's that's all trading is, is seeing if you can make a profit. In this case, we try to put statistics on our side by knowing price has to range and by entering in the direction it's moving away from the open until it's ranged 30 or more pips. And you can see here we're still below the yearly open. Once again, after that first day, this now just becomes a cross at that horizontal line. And the same thing here, using the month, the first trading day of the month, using those opens. And once again, we will just take the crosses on those lines. And you can see here, only 41 pip range. We've got what seven pairs over 100 pip range. Once again, it looks like the action is definitely with the pound pairs in the Brexit. And we're in the lower wick zone here of the daily candle, previous day's candle. You see, we made it to the upper wick zone, turned around, and came out. Now, this was the open here. So you see, once again, the open was part of the wick zone. I mentioned this yesterday. So it went into the upper wick zone, came back to the open. This gives you another reason to take the trade short. So you already had the pivot point was below the open. The gap has not been filled. And now we're coming out of the daily wick zone. Let's see. Sam Sneeden calls those things odds enhancer. But you see, the thing is, there are no odds in trading. But this basically gives you three reasons to have a short bias on this trade. And you can see the results. You can call that Harry Hindsight if you want, but we can do that moving forward from now on. So we've got a missed pivot here and a missed pivot there. Remember, we hit that hit that daily pivot right there. Took it out. And the wick zone once again showing that the open was part of this upper wick zone. Price came in and price came out. Tick chart. You can see the price action once again at the tick level. And since I brought up this platform or this portfolio, see we had a little trigger short, just wavering. Good for about what a pip, maybe if you wanted to exit out, you see one, two, three, four, five, six red one minute bars in a row. And you know price is probably going to reverse based on statistics once again. And let me see. There's one other chart I should should probably look at. Just the, that was the range. Where's the other range chart? Okay. Daily range so far, 41. And the range for the week is only 51. So that's it for today on the buy zone. I hope I've given you a few more um, details about it, maybe increased your understanding. Hopefully the light bulb came on and got hit by a ton of bricks, but it's just like, hey, I get it. So let me know if you get it or let me know if you have questions. But just remember, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So get out there and drain the banks.